Hey Primary 6 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your Daily Dose of Math Mastery. So, the last session we had a pretty interesting time. We had a time when people were getting everything right, so good job with that. High five, you are a Math Prodigy, good job. And the other thing is that we got stuck on a little question, right? That question was really persistent, it was really making me frustrated. But I breathed, I breathed and I tried to do it, but I kind of failed. But you know what? On that very night itself, I went home and I finally figured it out. And I figured it out on how, I figured out how to explain this to you so that you understand and you will never, ever, ever forget how to do it and you will always remember it in your head. Okay, so let's start with the other day's question. On Friday, I gave you a question, a very simple question that all of you got it right. So very good high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay, let me give you the answers first. Okay, let me check my book here. Okay, the answer for question... On Friday, okay, let's look at the question first. I'm going to pass you the question here. Oops. Okay. The question was this. Village A. Okay, read the question first. The answer, okay, the answer is 1,600 people for Village C and 600 people must move. So if you got it right, give yourself a high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay. So this question is very easy. This question is about ratio. Now, whenever you see ratio, especially when there are, two, are more than two, all you have to do is to list it out very, very neatly in a table. Correct. So I, I hope you just remember this question. I'm going to erase everything, but there's no space for me to write anything here. Okay. So it says village A has two-fifths as many people. So we write now A, B, C first, okay? We write A, B, and C. And then we make it very, very clear to ourselves that this is the table, okay? A, B, and C. Okay, I know it's a bit untidy, but you all have to use markers, okay? I mean, use rulers, okay? So the number, village A has two-fifths as many people. So you put two is two, five here. Easy enough. And the ratio of the population of village C to A, so C was 4 is to 7. So you put 4 is to 7 here. Okay, let's use a different color. 4 is to 7. Okay, good job. Now, the village B has 5,400 more people than village C. So village C actually, you know, village B, which is this 5 units, actually has 5,400 more people than village C. But can we just 5 minus 4? No, why not? Because, as you can see in this little table of ours, I'm going to use a different color here, it's pink, this thing over here is not the same. So you must make sure that all the sides are the same. Um, so how do we do that? We just simply, as you already know very easily, times 2 below to make it look at 14, and on top you must times 7. So whatever you do on top, you must times together again, and for here, times 2 again, okay? So, the final equation, the final ratio of A, B to C is actually, and I'm running in black right now, 14 is here, 5 times 7 equals to 35, and 4 times 2 equals to 8. Good? Good. Now, they say that um, village B has 5,400 more people than village C. So, all you have to do is take the 35 units minus 8 units equals to how many? They told us just now it was um, 5,400. 5, 35 minus 8 units is equals to 5,400, oops, equals to 5,400, okay, and 35 minus 8 equals give you 27 units, equals to 5,400 people. So one unit equals to what? You do the working, 5,400 zero, zero, divided by 27, it gives you 200 people. Therefore, the question is, what is the popula population of village C? C is 8 units, therefore... C equals to 8 units times 200, and that will give you the answer, oops, times 200, which will give you the answer of 1,006. If you got it right, give yourself a high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. The next part of the question is B, um, how many people must move from village A, which is 14 units, to village C, so that both villages have the same population? Now, for them to be equal, all you have to do is find the average, okay? The keyword here is average. And what that means is divided by number of villages, which is 2. So 14 plus 8 divided by 2 gives you 20, uh, 22 divided by 2, which gives you 
11 p oops 22 divided by 2 gives you 11 units on each side so how many people must move from village a to village c in order for them to get 11 each so 14 minus 11 it will give you 3 and when you put it together minus 3 you get 11 in the end minus 3 a plus 3 here you get another 11 so that is correct so the answer is you have to move 3 units okay and 3 units is actually equals to how many people 600 people that to do working for you right it's very simple 3 times 200 and that will give you 600 people must move from village A to village C so if you got it right give yourself a high five you are a math project good job okay so now let's go to the question which was bothering me for the past 30 minutes uh, I mean on that day yeah let's go it go to it right now some green markers and red markers in the ratio 2 is to 3 Gopal bought 3 and removed 7 red eh, bought 3 green and removed 7 red then the ratio of the number of green markers to red markers became 5 is to 7 how many green markers were there in the box at first now whenever you're given this type of question when 2 of the ratios are changed you must always use this method okay it's been proven I tried everything you must only use this method if the question says that they change one of the ratios then you have to use the previous method that we uh, actually encountered in one of the videos okay um, I will recap this don't worry before your PSLE so that you remember and I think this question might just come out okay so let's figure out how to do this question 